just got two male siskin fighting and I just pressed the shutter. I have no idea if some of them are sharp, but if they are, I think that might be a really, really cool image. Summer is that time when everything slows down and for us that means two weeks at our cabin. couldn't be more happy about that. There's a lot of wildlife and birds in that area. So I had an ongoing project where I attract a lot of small birds with seeds and nuts just 50 meters from our cabin. That meant that I could go in and out from my blind whenever I wanted. I'm here in a blind just 20 meters from my cabin and I've established a little place where I put up some seeds and some nuts for the small birds and it's really really cool because it's so many birds many kind of species like green finches and siskins and great tit, blue tit, nut touches and it even has been a hall finch as well I haven't got any great pictures of it yet and I haven't seen it today but I know what it is in the area here. And uh, the cool thing though is that both the Siskin and the Green Finch, they are not willing to share their, their food, so they have a lot of temper and trying to chase away uh, where the food are, trying to, to capture that behavior there. But I need fast shutter speed because with small birds, everything is so fast and um, around 1600 of a second right now with ISO 2000 F4 but I think that is a little bit too slow so I'm going to crank it up to a little higher ISO so I get a higher shutter speed. I want to freeze all the movements in the birds and the great thing about this is it's just 20 meters from my cabin so I can go into the blind whenever I want and I can like plan it. Now it's overcast and so it's not too harsh light it's the middle of the day and it can be too harsh if I get direct sun right now but uh, with this overcast hair it's much more even light there are a squirrel right now sitting on that little log there Siskin is outside now and it started to come a lot more birds after the rain. When the rain came, it, all the birds like disappeared, but now it's, it's still raining, but not that much. So I hear some of the birds in the trees around.
I'm constantly holding on to the back button focus which I have customized to the autofocus and holding that all the time ready with the shutter and if something happens I'm just pressing the shutter and with 20 frames per second there should be any possibility to pick out whatever picture I want and uh, yeah that is the tactic though look at that that is the J. I forgot to mention that sometimes the J comes here as well. really important if you're going to have some two birds sharp at the same time that the perch or the stick or is uh, the same distance from the start to the end because of the focus if it's too off either way it's much more harder to get uh, everything in focus especially when I'm using the f4 but I have this shallow depth of field but if I have it on a, a straight like a parallel it's much more easier to get both birds sharp if anything happens if they're standing and like with the wings out okay i just got two male siskin fighting just press the shutter. I have no idea if some of them are sharp, but if they are, I think that might be a really, really cool image. Oh, that is sharp. That is sharp. Definitely. Oh, that was so nice. Mm -hmm. 